So it turns out YouTube is a place where people don't go to watch videos, they go to complain about videos. So a lot of people complained about my last Shovel Strike Quarry video, because it didn't show the quarry! Why would I not do that? Well, it was explained in the video, if you had watched the video, you would know that. But here is the quarry. The reason I didn't show the quarry is because you can only go into it once a day, and there's literally nothing to show here. Uh, you tap five rocks. That's all you do. There's absolutely no skill involved. It's completely pure random. There's nothing you can do right. There's nothing you can do wrong. You just go around here, you tap a thing like that, and there you go. That is all that you do. Um, I think I'm gonna stop making video guides now because people are incredibly stupid and do anything they possibly can to avoid having to actually like just listen to somebody explain something and if you don't want to listen like I I don't like video guides myself that's why I leave a text guide in the description for every video so if you wanted to watch that that would be fine but look look at how nothing that you've learned from this thanks for making me waste both of our time we've learned nothing Anyway, now on to the part of the video where I actually explain things. Hooray! I'm so tap tapping today. We're gonna take a look at Show Strike Quarry. So this is kind of a once a day, get some free items kind of deal. And uh, my apologies, but they're having connection issues. Oh, there we go. Um, every morning, the connection issues seem to get worse. Morning in terms of the United States time zone. I don't know why, because it doesn't seem like a high traffic time. Um, but I don't know. If you're having troubles in the mornings, play, like, afternoon. But, uh, yeah, so Shovel Strike Quarry basically lets you get either bells, common crafting materials, or essences. Um, and there's a different amounts you can get. So you can get roughly 3,000 to 5,000 bells. Bells are very consistent. Um, you can get between 1 to 10 essences. Essences are pretty inconsistent. Um, and you can get between like 2 to 20 common crafting materials. Um, you mostly want to focus it on essences because essences are the one thing that you can kind of run out pretty easily. Um, and at least until you've gotten all of the tier 3 amenities, which, by which I mean the merry-go-round, the rock stage, treehouse, and pool set, those are pretty hard to get the uh, materials for and you want at least level one of all of those once you have at least level one of all of those you don't necessarily have to keep going for essences you can go for bells to pay off pay off your uh, thing or whatever but early on you're going to want to go for essences pretty evenly um that reward sometimes sparkles that means you're going to get very high close to the um to the cap so like i said the cap for essences is about eight to ten so if you go when it's sparkling, you'll almost always get 8 to 10. If it's not sparkling, you can still get up to 10, but it's just much less likely. Um, the way it works is you can either pay 20 leaf tickets to get in, and if you pay leaf tickets, you can get in every 3 hours. Every 3 hours, it uh, changes what you get. But um, the normal way to get in is you get help with friends. You need at least 5 friends to help. Um, you can ask more than five friends, and more than five friends can give help, but it doesn't matter if you get over five friends. Um, you don't get extra materials for the extra friends or anything. Um, so what I usually do is, there's this spot you can tap right here. Uh, it's like, I'm tapping right on the camper, um, on the map, basically. Like, that's not really the exact spot, but just to give you the vague idea, there's this spot you can just kind of tap your finger repeatedly that activates all three confirmation buttons. So... You just kind of want to invite, like, I find with 10 to 20 friends that are actively playing, you can really easily get in here. I just tend to go down my list and I would invite, say, everyone that's been here um, that's logged in today. And I would check in occasionally to see if there's new people. Um, the most important people are at the very top, though, because those are people that have logged in. The friends list is always sorted by who's logged in last, by the way. So that's useful for a few things. So, you can only get invited, you can only get help from friends once a day. The quarry, uh, at the daily reset, which for me is at midnight, uh, it depends on what time zone you're in actually though. Um, once per day you can get help from friends, otherwise you can use the leaf tickets for up to every, you know, every three hours. Um, it is better to use leaf tickets to go to the quarry than it is to buy essences directly. Because like 20, if you're crafting and you're missing an essence, it costs 20 leaf tickets to replace a single essence. So don't do that. If you're going to spend leaf tickets to get essences, do Shovel Strike Quarry instead. 
You should, if you keep track of Shovel Strike Quarry um, throughout the early game, you should have enough essences without spending leaf tickets. So I wouldn't worry too much. It's a, it's a possibility, but it's not a big deal. I can't really show you the game right now because it's, you know, I need help. But um, it's not really, there's no skill to it involved at all. You just walk around the quarry, you tap five rocks, and you get random things. You can get rubies, sapphires, silver, or gold nuggets. And I can't tell exactly what is what, like what rewards you get for each thing because it's all random and... I haven't really run the numbers. It doesn't really matter because it's purely random other than the sparkle gives you more gold and silver nuggets. So don't really worry about it too much. What you want to do is every morning when you log in, you want to invite like, you know, everybody in your friend list basically unless you have like over 100. Well, 100 is the cap, but like invite as many as you can or at least 20 if you have more than 20, I would say. Um, in the very morning... Um, their help won't expire until the next day. So then you can watch the reward. And if you see an essence, um, I would go for it unless, like, for instance, I have enough cute essences already, I think. Yeah, I have a 55. So I would personally want uh, natural essence is what I'm really low on. But I'm building the last natural amenity anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much for me. Um, so to give help to friends in Shovel Strike Quarry, let's see if we have any. Um, you just go to the friends menu, and they'll have a little... Thing, a little shovel. There we go. They'll have a shovel, and all you have to do is tap this. It's completely free for you. All you have to do is tap that icon. Um, and if they successfully get into Shovel Strike Quarry, you'll get 100 bells in your inbox. If they don't, you'll get 10 bells. But basically, once every few hours that you log in, I would recommend going through your friends list and popping in. 100 bells might not so sound like much if you're used to regular Animal Crossing, uh, but in this game, Basically think of it as 100 bells is like getting a thousand bells. It's um, it's kind of like that So it's not an amazing amount, but it's not the am an amount that you want to just say no to when it takes zero effort at all Like I've gotten potentially 300 bells just like in six seconds here And you're pretty limited on how many bells you can get So yeah, it there's no point in scrolling back too far because like these guys haven't played like today and they couldn't have possibly requested help so I've done my thing. And let's look in my mailbox, because I probably have some Shovel Strike. Yeah, they're having connection issues, so... Oh! Oh no! Rest in pieces. <laughs> oh well. I was done show. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me show you... They'll just show up in your mailbox here. Like, these 10 bells are from people that didn't get in. These 100 bells are from people who did get in with my help. So let's just collect all of that. So yeah, that's pretty much Shovel Strike Quarry. It's, um... There's not really much skill to the actual mini game. It's just random but you do want to get in every day if you can uh, it's not really a huge deal if you can't but it's just free essences basically that you don't want to miss out on and if you i would say if you do the shovel start quarry for at least two or three weeks um you will get plenty of essences to get all of the tier three amenities that might sound excessive but i mean this is a mobile game and it'll take you two or three weeks to even be able to think about getting to these things so yeah uh, as you can see, the one that I'm crafting still has 48 n 9 hours. Um, there's four things that you need to craft that have 72 hour timers, and that is unfortunate. But you're basically done with long timers at that point, so that's nice. As you can see, I only have one more long timer left. I have, I have to make this thing. But after that, I'm mercifully done with them. Oh, and I haven't been playing this for a while, so I've been playing since the Australian beta, so if you're wondering why I'm level 50, it is not Leet Hacks. It's just, I've been playing for a while. That's right, Parker. So, um, that's it for Shovel Strike Quarry. Um, stay tuned for the next tip video if I have any. Otherwise, see you around. That's right.